Brian, Texas State is an extremely underrated game and probably one that a lot of people don't have circled for their weekend viewing. But when you look at the importance and the implications coming with the Sun Belt Championship race, this one has a lot of impact on who will represent this division. Troy is obviously a very different team than Texas State. Texas State is riding a high of a new coaching staff and a, a lot of success offensively. But this Troy defense is no joke. They have plenty of talent, even with the amount of talent that they lost. And this will be an interesting matchup of two Titans in terms of Troy's defense versus Texas State's offense. Troy has done an okay job of scoring points themselves. They're not exactly the most explosive offense, but they have a guy in Kimani Vidal that continues to fly under the radar, one of the best running backs statistically in college football, and nearly has 1,000 yards rushing. This offense could benefit a little bit more from a guy like Gunnar Watson throwing the football a little bit more efficiently and moving the ball down the field through the air. They average nearly 260 yards per game through the air, and they're an explosive group averaging nearly 6.6 yards per play. But you look at where their strength is, it is on the defensive side of the ball. Although they are, I think that they could use some help in, in let's go back to the offense real quick. Preventing havoc is probably the biggest thing holding this team back. The nice thing is that they see it a lot in practice because this defense is one of the best disruptive defenses in college football. And we're going to see a ton of matchups in this game that will dictate who wins this, this matchup because DJ Kinney and this Texas state offense want to spread you out. They want to make sure that they know exactly what's going on for that defense, but they have not faced a defense like Troy's. I think Troy's unit as a whole plays really well together. And that's going to be a test that I'm curious to see if Texas state can handle again, Texas state has a ton of playmakers. When you look at the stats, this is a group that can put up points in a hurry. And when you look at some of the games, they put up 77 points, 35 points, 50 points. They can score in a hurry. The first game against Baylor obviously was a huge win for the Bobcats. And this offense, like I said, can score points. But the question is going to be, can this defense make enough of an impact? Because while the offense can score sometimes at will, the defense almost gives up plays at will. They give up points at will. And that's not going to help when you're facing a talented team like Troy. Troy has been to the top of the Sun Belt. They have won the Sun Belt. They're the reigning champs. They know what it takes to win big football games. And they have already been tested this year. Texas State, to me, the Baylor game obviously was a big win, but they haven't really played anybody that is competing for a conference championship. This is a big test for them, and if they're able to pass it, then I think you have to watch out for the Bobcats in terms of winning this conference. When you look at the matchups to watch in this game, holy cow, there's a lot to dissect here. There's a ton. It really comes down to, again, I don't want to say I don't necessarily care about Troy's offense versus Texas State's defense. That will play a big role, obviously. But when you're looking at good versus good, potentially even elite versus elite, the question is, can Troy's defense hang with this Texas State offense? And the question for the other on the other side is, can Texas State prevent Troy from being disruptive? Because both teams, both units are very good at what they do, and one of them has to give. It's just plain and simple. Not both, both of them can't be good at the same time. You can't have one and have the other at the same time. You will have one unit be really good on a certain play or for the entire game or most of the game, and one will struggle. And that's really where this, this matchup is determined. That's where this game it comes down to it. I think the front seven for Troy is going to present a ton of problems for Texas State. That's really where, to me, this game comes down because certain players like Javon Solomon, TJ Jackson, and I think Richard Jabun are also, you're looking at the front seven being extremely disruptive, even without Carlton Marshall. Carlton Marshall is one of the best linebackers we've ever seen in college football, runs out of eligibility. But I think that this Troy front seven has been just fine. Texas State is going to spread them out as much as possible to kind of negate some of that dis disruptiveness, some of that explosiveness, and find ways to move the ball down the field and create explosive plays themselves. Whoever dic dictates the pace to me will determine this game because if Texas State continues to move the ball at a blistering pace, Troy's probably not going to be able to keep up, especially offensively. If their defense struggles even the slightest, that puts more pressure on their offense, and that's where Texas State will thrive. Obviously, 
but it comes down to what the quarterbacks can do. TJ Finley so far has found a great home at Texas State, and he's going against a guy in Gunnar Watson that at times has shown that he can be a, an effective passer, but then also you've seen times where he's kind of a liability or he's just okay. And that's really where this, this comes down. You're looking at one guy who's extremely a- a- athletic and extremely accurate with the football in TJ Finley, and he's in a good system for his skill set. Gunnar Watson has to be a little bit more efficient with his passes. And the question to me is what can these offense, or I guess Troy's offense do against Texas State's defense? Because I think Texas State is going to put up some points against Troy's defense. I think that this, their ability to spread out the football and make big plays will definitely tire out this Troy defense. And if their offense can't keep putting up points, then Texas State might not run away with it, but definitely can win this game. I Honestly, when I look at this game, it should say Troy. I, I trust Troy's defense to do a lot of good things, but Texas State's offense is also really good. When I have to pick this one, I'd lean Texas State. I just don't think that Gunnar Watson can get the job done. I don't think that Troy has enough firepower in, in their chest to be able to keep up with Texas State and if Texas State is getting this defense tired it comes down to what does Troy's depth look like defensively and can their offense put up enough points to keep up so far I don't think we've seen that from Troy's team from this offense but they also haven't faced an offense like Texas State and that could present some challenges that they're not ready for but if they can handle it Troy obviously will take care of business but right now I think I have to lean with the Bobcats